Today we're going to talk about aprons. Emily Taylor is here to show us how to make an easy apron out of a fabric panel that she has designed. Welcome Emily. Thank you, Cindy. Well, I love this new fabric line, Verona. It's Thank so you. fresh and the colors are bright. What was your inspiration behind this fabric line? Well, there's a charming little town in Italy called Verona. It was the setting for Romeo and Juliet. Oh. And I, I just, as I was working on it, I just felt like it was a good, it was a good fit. And it's, it's beautiful. I love the colors you use and it's in three different colorways. And I think it's fantastic that you did an apron panel with this fabric line. It's fun. Okay, let's get started and Kay. show me how you made this apron. Okay. And I'll show you a finished apron. Oh yeah, let's take a look at that. And this is, isn't that great? And they, this one's been embellished by Buttons and Rick Rack, but you're going to show us how yeah. to get started. Okay, so this is just the basic apron. Um, you cut the panel out. Um, the seam allowances are included in everything, so you don't need to add seam allowances. Just cut right along the edge. With the panel come two pockets, two waistband ties, and two neckties. Okay, so we're going to start by working on the edge, I recommend just getting the edge cleaned up nicely to begin with. And so, as I said, the seam allowance is included and um, what you need to do to begin is just fold this over. And my favorite tool in sewing is a good iron and I love my Rowenta irons, I have two of them. So we're gonna press the edge just a quarter inch or Get that you know, right, nice crisp yeah, finish. nice crisp finish all the way around and then we're gonna roll it again and press it again, press, 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 that's the best thing. And you can pin it if you want. Um, and then you're just gonna top stitch around the edge. What it's gonna look like when you're finished is just this and nice turned. And so you just top stitch yep. all around mm -hmm. your edges. Yeah, so that's how that looks, the rolled edge. So that's your, th then your apron piece is, is finished. Then you just have to add the pockets and the and the ties. So let's talk about the pockets for a second. So we've got the two pocket pieces and they are designed to, um, to once the liner. Yep, and once the liner. And so what we'll do is, in fact, here's a finished one to show you. So we're gonna stitch again, seam allowances included, leave about a three inch opening so that you can turn it. You're just gonna stitch around the edge. And I always like to pin. And right sides together. Yep right sides together, pin it all around so the fabric doesn't slip. So then you're gonna stitch a quarter, a quarter inch all the way around, stop, and I like to back stitch before I, at the opening, so that when I pull it through it doesn't rip the seam. And then press that, press it, press it, press it, so that you've got this finished product. And you can't even tell where the, where the opening is. Then when you put this on your finished apron panel, you can choose which side you want to put it on. Let's say we let's say we did that just for some high contrast. And then we're just going to top stitch it again along the edge. And then and that's that where will, you close yep, your that will then close up your your um, turning hole. So there you go. There's your apron. Be sure you don't stitch the top of it. Now you have an another option. I do. As I said, the two pockets come <coughs> in the panel and because there are two pockets in the panel you could have it be like this so then I would recommend just picking up some scrap fabric that you might have and you're gonna just line the same thing that we just did and turn it through so that you've got a, li a nice lined pocket on that on both sides. On both sides. So that would give you two pockets if you want to do that. Great. Yeah, so that's easy. And then now let's go to the waistband ties. These ties I made extra long because... And I love long ties. You don't we? we love to be able to wrap them yes. around our, our waist. So we're going to just take this. Again, seam allowances are included. And press. Get your ironing machine. Or yeah, get your ironing done for the day, press that out flat like I've done with this one. Um, I also like to have ties that have a, a trimmed lighter. edge like that. So if you do that <coughs> after you've ironed it, just 
take a pair of scissors and trim it like that. Trim off that little section right there. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to top stitch all the way around the, the long edge of the tie till you get to the end. And then it's the fun part. Turning it. it. Down. <laughs> and what do you use to turn your... I use a knitting needle. needle. How about you? I've used a dowel before, a mm -hmm. wood dowel, and that seems to be helpful. Yeah, the nice thing about a knitting needle, well, it could be tricky too, but the nice thing is you can get a really nice point. Oh, at the end. At the end. Yeah, that's well, a good but, idea. But if you're not careful, you'll poke right through the fabric, so. And when you're done, you could also do a top stitch all the way around mm -hmm. here, too, if you'd like to. Yeah. Or you don't have to. Yeah, you don't need to, but you certainly can do that. Okay, so that is the waistband tie. Now what you're going to do is take the finished waistband tie, at waistband ties, and you'll have this nice rolled edge like we've got over here. Let's probably pull this one over here. Take a look at this. So there's a couple ways. You, you're just going to tack this on so that it's going to stay secure. So do prob probably in two locations. To you give can it even added strength. Yeah, just added strength. You can even double it up and tack it on there. Good. Okay. And so you put both those on. Yep, so it's going to be on just like that. And, and I'll give you an option for the waistband, another option in just a minute as well. You got your neckties, which yes. is the same concept of yeah. right sides together. Mm -hmm. Same thing. We're going to just stitch along the edge and then get our dowel or our knitting needle and poke it through so that we've got two apron ties, or if you prefer, you can go with just one apron tie, like that. So if we were to just use one, there nice. you go. It's big enough that you can just use one. Instead of tying all the time, mm -hmm. you can just flip that over here. And then you can yeah. use this extra piece of fabric to make some fun flower or some little embellishment or, you know, acro across the top of the um, pocket or something. So there's the, oh, let me show you too. Another thing I like to do to just finish the tacking off the necktie is to add a button on both sides. And that gives a, a yeah, good amount of added strength. Mm -hmm. it yeah, it's just nice. clean. It looks nice and it strengthens, so that's not going anywhere. Okay, so Kay. that's the basic apron. Okay. Now can I show you They're a cute. few options? I would love that to see your fun. embellished apron. Okay, let's pull this out. I love this one. This one. This apron um, I've lined, so you can see it adds quite a bit of substance, substance and, and weight. To it, yeah, um, I like that. Yeah, it, it, it's so nice. So you could buy the panel and then just buy some material to line it, or just right. whatever. Right. Muslim or. Yeah, about a yard is what you need. Um, and I've also just done the single strap here. So let me put this on and model this apron for oh, you. Oh, it's adorable. And I love that you use the jumbo rickrack yeah. to embellish. And that's all you and did. The, yep. Used and the two embellish. pockets. Mm -hmm. And the long ties that come around front. Yep. Those are my favorite kind of aprons. Aren't they the best? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, so let me show you how to do this. This is super simple. If you were to get your additional fabric, because this does not come with the panel. <coughs> I would recommend actually cutting this out at the same time. Now we need to make sure that we get the ties in there. So here's one of our ties. <coughs> and we're, gonna, we're going to make sure that that catches in the seam. So we're going to pin it right there. But then because it's so long, you don't want that getting stuck in another seam. So I always will just pin it again. And here's the other tie. Okay, and then same thing with the neck ties. You're going to put the... And you can decide whether you're going to do one. Yep, one or two. And let's just say we're going to do one right now. We're going to make sure that the edges line up with the raw edges of the panel. And then we'll get far enough away that we're not hitting our needle. Mm -hmm. And I guess make sure your this tie is yep. not twisted either. Yeah, make sure that's that's just the way you need it. And then then we're gonna pin all along the outside here, just to make sure the fabric's not slipping at all. I won't that's pin. Go. We won't pin the whole thing, but this is just an illustration that you're gonna. 
Go all the way around. Go all the way around. Leave an opening about that big. Again, I like to back stitch on both ends of the opening so that when you're turning, you're not going to rip the seam open. So you're going to just back stitch, or you're going to just stitch all the way around with a quarter inch seam. And then you will have your finished lined apron. Now let me show you a few just fun little options to embellish the apron. Okay. So we talked about the rickrack, the jumbo rickrack, and it comes in exactly the colors that we need. Um, I also thought, oh, there's so many ribbon out there, and this teal color matches great. So ribbon would be really fun on it. But I came up with something kind of fun that uses, remember I told you the panel has some extra cream fabric on it that I didn't want to go to waste. I thought we could use that somehow. So I used my rotary cutter that has a nice scalloped edge and just cut this, um, this piece out of there and ran it through my machine with a, a long stitch and gathered it together and thought, oh, that might be a cute little ruffle for the top of the apron if you wanted it. Very cute. Okay, so that's one thing. And then um, because these ties are so long, we have some options with them. One thing I thought that would be fun would be just to pin the apron ties across like this. Okay, and then top stitch along the edges and then take a fun flower that you've made and stick it right there too. So just pin that or stitch that on there oh, as well. I love that flower. How did you make this flower? Well, I've got the template and I'll share the template with you. Um, but it's very simple. It takes five minutes to stitch that. Well, probably 15 minutes to stitch that up because it's lined. Right sides together, right sides inside together. out, but you don't have to finish the edges. Right. Okay. You just use a little scrap raw edge mm -hmm. in the middle. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's it. There's some fun embellishments to spruce up the apron and it's super simple great ideas and look what the finished product I love it's cute and durable and, and I don't think you could make an easier apron mm -hmm. and have this result right so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bunch for my friends I think it would be really fun to give as a gift and I would love to receive that as a gift and this is gonna is available in stores it's an easy apron panel and easy to make and easy to give to friends and family and we appreciate Emily being here today